in the heart of the Yorkshire Hills, our five dealers are waiting money at the ready, with no idea what items they'll be bidding on today. We've got some good things coming up. It's amazing what people pull out of their old drawers. It is. And first in the bidding room is Lexi from Hereford. She's hoping to sell a miniature miracle of engineering. I think that it is just one of those things that just sparks that childlike joy, really. So, yeah, I think they'll like it. <laughs> First, you'll need to get a valuation. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Oh, very nice to meet Hi. you. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come and sit down. Make yourself Thank at home. You. Hi. To see you. I was given one of these for my... I think it was my eighth birthday or not really? birthday. I think my dad was more interested initially than I was, but then I, I absolutely loved it. Every boy's dream. I think mine was identical. Yeah. Really? Do you want to get it up for me? I OK, know. sure. Uh, even the smell of yes. methylated spirits or whatever it is. <laughs> brings back it memories. Brings back memories. That's, and that's the little sort of cart yeah, that goes with it. gone on there, then. Oh, yes. You can smell that. Yes, okay. we had to fill a little tray full of um, spirits. Yeah, I look at still and everything. Beautiful. Oh, I haven't seen these since I was eight. Fantastic condition. So it dates probably from... Well, from, from the early 80s, this version. Right. Uh, the reason I say that straight away is because we've got the solid fuel tablets. Uh -huh. uh, prior to the mid-70s, I think, it would have been... It was a bit earlier. The, me <laughs> the methylated <laughs> spirits. A tiny bit. It? Tiny bit. <laughs> but the tablets were a lot less messy, weren't they, you know, than yes. liquids yes. splashing about all yes. over the place. Yes. Do you have to, first of all, put the water in? Mm hmm You light the tablet, in it goes, and then you have to wait. <laughs> it was the waiting that used to get me. But my father would say, well, while it's heating up, you must oil all the wheel parts. Give you something to do. Give you something to do, yeah. <laughs> we have the original oil there as well. Oh. Yes, I can see that there. See? I can see that there. <laughs> but it's that classic design. Yeah. The steam traction engine. But what I like, actually, is the fact that it's got the wagon. Quite often, it's just the engine, but we've got the wagon here still with its uh, bits and bobs with it as well. I never had a wagon. No, well, there you go, yeah. you see. There you go. <laughs> I was wagonless. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas present, and yes. we were th that Christmas we were staying in Cornwall in a hotel. I don't know why, I have no idea. And I spent the entire Christmas making this g go. All, you know, I wasn't interested in food or <laughs> anything else <laughs> except making this work. Yeah. Much more exciting. Than and it. the whole bedroom smelled of paranoid spirits. Now, tell me, where did you get this? It was my dad's. Was it? Yeah, my mum bought it for my dad as a Christmas present in 1982, okay. in the year I was born. <laughs> right. So, and did you play with them? Um, I remember, yes, my dad getting it out a few times. <laughs> then it must have got put in the attic for many years. Yeah. Dad passed away about 16 years ago. OK. And last year, my stepmom got it out of the attic for me to sell... Um, because my daughter is going to Kenya in the summer for a month, so she's raising wow. money for that. Yeah. So it was a Not donation <laughs> to this is for your help. daughter to go to Kenya. Yes. Are they collectible? Absolutely. The market is still very strong. You know, there's really serious collectors out there for them, but they all want boxes, so we can take that. Mm -hmm. We have no idea what they cost, because it was um, many years ago when they were purchased. Yeah. <laughs> Simon, what's it worth? I'm looking at it in two parts. I think if I was valuing the engine on its own, I'd be saying 80, 90 on its own. But the two together... I think you're going to be 120 to 160. Sort of oh, we'll always go for 160. Yeah, let's do that. You never know, they might go mad. Who's going to, who's going to bid for it, do you think? AD without a shadow of AD, a doubt. AD, I think you're absolutely right. AD yeah. might just go mad. He's, he's a big kid at heart, yeah. so he'll go for that. Yeah. Great. Well, I mean, you've got lots of things in your favour. You've got collectability, you've got original boxes, pristine condition, well-known make. You've got it all, so go in hard, keep your nerve. There we go. What a wonderful, wonderful thing this is. My childhood in two boxes. <laughs> Lexi, thank you very much for coming in. Good luck. You know what thank you're you talking so about. Much. And may you get as much as you can for your daughter's trip. Yes, thank you. thank you. Thanks, Great. Simon. Thank Bye. You. you can imagine when Lexi's going to walk in that dealer room now. Mm. Aidy's face yeah. is just going to light up. He'll be well up for that. 
and Nigel said to really try and push it because he was very excited about it. It would be great to just push it as far up to the 200 as possible. The steam tractor is likely to ignite the interest of Aidy, who loves dealing in toys. Hi. 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 Hello. How are you? Yes, good, thank you. How are you all? Good, thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh -uh. And you are? I'm Lexi. Hello, Lexi. Hi, Hi Lexi. Lexi. I'm not even going to look to it. Can I say Mamod? Yes. How long have you had it? Uh, it was bought uh, for my dad by my mum as a Christmas present. It is absolutely virtually pristine, isn't it? Has nobody played with it? Yes, it has been used a few times. I only remember a couple of times as a child. Right. Um, but I think that uh, because it is quite steamy it and, is. Uh, it you is. know, there's fire involved, yeah. that people get a little nervous sometimes. These are fantastic. When I was seven, you remember when you go to school mm -hmm. and the teacher says to you, on the last day, you're going to bring in a toy? Well, I physically, at seven years old, I turned up one of these and Mrs Smart said, that's really nice, lady. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to go next door with Mr Dennison, the headmaster, and all you children play nicely and left us to it. So, of course, I got my box of matches out and I lit my blooming thing and they came running in. And I was setting the place on fire. Mm. <laughs> but you've got all the boxes and everything, so that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And... Yeah. James, you won't be interested. Just talk to me. It's, it's just like, just ignore the rest of them. Uh, excuse my ignorance on this. So, does steam come out of this, then? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're just a really good, iconic toy. Still being made today, I think. It's a really trusted British maker. Yeah. Yeah. And they are very collectible and sought after. I just remember me, when I got that, it was like being given a million quid. Mm. It was just amazing. So, I presume we've got these gloves with you to give us a bit of a demonstration, then? Yes. Go ahead. Great. Well, you've put hot water in. Oh, it's Yeah. I'm feeling it, I think it was already warm. <laughs> You'll get the smell in a minute. Oh, God, this is bringing back my childhood. You see, you could have this smell if you buy it. Yeah. Whenever you like. Even I can smell that. Mm. Oh, I can hear something. You can hear yeah. it. Yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll start hearing it. She's nearly ready. Now you can oh. steer it. So now... Yay. Oh, well done. <laughs> it's, um, it's very fast. It's probably why they never gave me it's one. It's actually quite fast. <laughs> Look at it. It's great. Look, we're not going to crash at all. Stop. Oh, it's so cool. Hang on, hang on, you got the best bit, you got the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> I did that when I was seven as well. <laughs> oh. Goodness gracious. If you sell it today, what will you be spending the money on? Uh, my daughter's going to Kenya after her GCSEs this summer. Oh. And uh, she has to raise quite a lot of money to go um, to do wildlife conservation and oh, amazing, uh, yeah. work in the community. Um, she's doing very well, but, um, yeah, my stepmom specifically has given this to me to raise money for the trip. So. OK. Lovely. Good cause. OK, well, let's start the bidding then. <laughs> As well as James and toy lover Aidy, the train also appeals to Tash, who loves trading in modern design classics. So Lexi could do better than Simon's valuation of 120 to 160 pounds. But I'll, I'll just throw it off at 50 quid. I have a rough idea on price, so I'll go 60. 70. 75. 80. 85. 100. 120. 130. 140. No. It's absolutely pristine condition. It is. Everything with it. 150. 155. No. 160. No. I'm out. I am too. OK. But good luck to your daughter. Thank you. I think the danger is if I bought it, 
and my brother got wind of it, he's going to be after it. And he's got no money to put pay me, so <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to say, brilliant thing, but I'm going to be out. Okay. But thank you. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, we're way over what it's worth. Really? You think yeah. so? Okay. Hundred percent. So, what would be what would be your final offer? My final offer would have been about 130 quid. <laughs> but I'm at 160. Okay. Um, I know exactly where I could go and buy one. Yeah. But it has got the trailer, it has got the boxes. Yeah. I don't want to move off 160. OK. Well, I, I think my dad would be more than happy for someone as excited as you to have it, so I'd be happy to sell it to you for 160. Do we have a deal? We do, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Hold on. Thank you well so done. much. Brilliant. Thank you so much. My dad would be very pleased with the, the price that it's gone for and it's going to a good cause. I did think at one moment I was going to lose them all, so I kind of had to just come back to AD knowing that he was really keen and I thought, no, it would be good for him to have it. Selling at £160 matches the upper end of Simon's valuation. Money that will really help Lexi's daughter travel around Kenya. Thanks a lot oh, for coming. Thanks. Brilliant. Thank, thank you so much, so much for bringing it in. Good luck with your daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I got a demon turn. Right, nobody else is touching it. It's mine and I love it and I'm going to play with it. You knew you were going to have that as soon as it walked in. Yeah. yeah. Come through the door. Next in the bidding room is Yvonne from Swanick. She's hoping to sell a cherished but now unused gift from her grandfather. I've had it for nearly 50 years, because I think it's quite a desirable um, object. It's quite iconic of its time. So I'm hoping, you know, to come out with some, with some cash. Hello. Hi. Well, welcome to the bidding room. Thank you. Look what you've bought, a red box. Nice. I'm going to let you open it up. I don't want to... Oh, it's quite heavy, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, tell me about this little thing. Well, my grandfather bought it for me. Did he? For my 15th birthday. So it was only a few years ago this happened. Of course it is, <laughs> yes. Yes, and uh, I loved the colour of it. Fascinating thing. Real iconic design. It was one of the sort of first pick-up-and-go kind of uh, typewriters. Mm. So had you learned to type by then? I was, I was learning to type, to right. do shorthand and typing at school, but I never became a shorthand typist, so I think I was a big disappointment to Oh. Me. And it's red, which means it's got... Has it got a sort of name attached to it? It's the Olivetti Valentine. Red? Yeah, and I think it came in quite a few colours, didn't Different it? Different colours, yeah. absolutely. But portable, so it was sort of top of the range, because yes. most typewriters are really clunky, heavy things. Yes, yeah. This was something you could sort of carry around. Yeah. With. They were these huge, clunky, cast-iron yeah. things, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. I've got the stamp here from the oh. shop that I bought it from, with the date on the bottom, and oh, I've still got this that was, that was with it. Wow. Oh. It says there's some, something to write with, Valentine. <laughs> Want the new type of writer? The new Valentine. Mm. Go for colour to colour your life? The dashing red Valentine. Oh, I about that? Richard Burton was seen at Heathrow Airport with one, and I think once he was seen with it, everybody wanted one. Um, well, he must have been carrying it for Elizabeth Taylor. It must have been. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a great little piece. And I've still got the brushes and oh. things in there. It came with a set. Came with it, yeah. And it's, it's, it's the little pieces like that that create the whole That's right. package, yeah. in effect, yeah. don't they? Because how many of those would have been torn up and lost oh, yeah, and absolutely. thrown away? Is it collectible now? The red is, you'll be pleased to hear, the most desirable. Right. Your grandfather chose the right That's colour. Right. He did, yeah. <laughs> But it was all about creating that sort of funky, mm. young, hip yeah. kind of vibe to it, wasn't yes, it? Yes, you know? yeah. Real iconic design. Who designed it? Um, it was a chap called Ettore Sotsas. I was always told that there was no lower case because all there the keys... Isn't. It's all capital yeah. letters. Yeah. Which is quite strange. Mm. Isn't it? When you're typing, it's just you're saying, get on with it. It's someone's <laughs> shouting. Yeah. Perhaps more than 50% of the thought behind it was towards the design yeah, yeah. rather than the function a statement or yeah, something. Exactly. Shall we ask the big question? Yes. Yes. Well, Simon, how much do you think <laughs> this is going to fetch? Because it's the red colour, I'm going to say, hopefully, you should be able to push the dealers to. A hundred plus a little bit, maybe. Mm. 
Should we just give you some ammunition, just to refresh yeah. ourselves so you know yeah. exactly what we're talking about? Mm. I think as, as a whole package, it's great. Mm. We've got the typewriter, we've got the right colour, we've got the case, paperwork, accessories, and one owner from new. Yeah, one careful yes. lady owner. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> good luck with that. Yes, it does okay. weigh quite a lot, doesn't it? it? So it's a good yeah. workout as well. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, you could just be doing that and you go on there. Yeah. OK, thank good you. Good luck. Lovely to meet you. Look. I know they're quite desirable items at the moment, so I'm looking to get a little bit more than Simon valued it at. Yvonne won't sell low. Time to see if she can beat the dealers at their own game. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Fine, thank you. And what's your name? My name's Yvonne. Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. And where are you from? I'm from Derbyshire. And you've brought us a red box. That's right. I used to have one of these. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Grey one. Then I'm going to pass it over to you because yeah. you know how to open it. Nice. It'll actually, it opened another way round, but. Oh! Let's do this. Wow. Oh, how cool. The one I had was grey. Right. And I think it's pretty cool in red. Yes. Yeah. That, I have to say, that is, cool. that is pretty nifty, it's, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Are you a writer? No, I'm not. No, I was doing shorthand and typing at school at the time. Okay. And I saw that in a shop window in our local high oh, street. Oh, and um, I liked it. It's in good condition. It is. There's no, there's no wear on the keys, is there? No. Why are you selling it? Well, I'm selling it because it's been under the stairs for a long, long time. Obviously, I've got laptop, mm. iPad, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't use it. Don't you find it's a shame that people don't use these more anyway? I know. Yeah. It's just such a lovely way yes. to... Do you know what people do? You get some writers that oh, really? still do, because the flow, using one of these, is still a way that some creative writers work. Was it the colour that attracted you to it in the yes, first place? Yes, it way? was. Red was, was the in colour at the time. It was very, uh, very trendy. Great. Why did my mum buy grey? I know, why do grey? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, to me, Olivetti means, like, the best. You think of Aston Martin, you say Olivetti, and you know it's quality. That would look fantastic mm. in a shop front. It would look great as a decorative item. It's brilliant. It's, I, I just literally got excited when we took it out of the box. I've also got that that was with it. Oh, um, here we see that. Brilliant. And that's the receipt from the shop with the date on the oh, really? Wow, really? And the brushes. Oh, oh you've got the brushes? Yes, yeah. 1971 is the date yes, was bought. Yes, So the... you've got the stamp and the date yes, there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's just that's right. amazing. Very sexy. Fabulous. Sexy! Well, <laughs> as typewriters go. <laughs> I haven't seen it in red. The fact that you've got this, that makes it look like it's a shredder as well. It does. I was just going to say that. It yeah. does look like a shredder. You can yes. keep your papers in that. It was actually designed as a waste bin to use oh, okay. when we've been typing. Oh, I see. Yeah. So we need to get a bid in. OK. Tash, with her urban clientele, and Ian with his love of neoclassical designs, are both taken with the typewriter. But will Yvonne push them over Simon's £100 valuation? So, yeah. Come on, I'm going to start in. you on £35. 40. No. No, 50. no, no. Definitely not. Oh. Mm. It's too new for me, so I'm not bidding, but I, it's... Your right. lips aren't even starting to curl. 70. No. no. 80. No. 90. No. 100. No. Do you have a definite price you want for it? Ooh, are we miles away? Yeah. Ouch. Really? Ouch. Really? I, I know they are desirable and the colour is the most desirable. Uh, plus the fact I've got the paperwork with it. I've read that they're in most of the design museums, so it's quite iconic. This is... having that is brilliant. Yeah, it? and it's in immaculate condition. It is. I agree. If I didn't get the right price for it, I would I would take it home. Yeah, let's get back to bidding then. Well, I'll go on 120 at the minute. Oh, well, I'll I'll throw 130 at it because I just love the colour. 140. No. Oh. 145. No. Even close. Closer. <laughs> oh, strong woman. I mean, it was £30 in 71, which was a lot of money. My grandfather was a retired miner. What are you looking to get? 
Uh, what figure have you got in your mind? Well, you tell me how much further you're prepared to go if you want it. And I'll tell you whether I'll accept it. I love it. It's not for me, though. It's not my market. I mean, I'll be looking to send it on to writers. <sighs> Won't be paying a lot for this. I do one fifty-five. No. That's going to be my final bid, guys. Yeah, I'm done at this point, guys. I think no, it's I beautiful. I don't, I don't but... think I'm going any further. I, I, I want to, but I don't. I'm buying it purely. One because... eighty. One seventy. I'll do one seventy on it. One seven five. <laughs> <laughs> 170, I'll stick at 170. I'm not going to buy with my heart. My head's telling me I'm not going to go any further. <clears throat> 170. I've got to stick at it. I, I can't go more than 170. Sorry. OK, it's a deal. We do. Oh, well Fantastic. Done, well done. Well done. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Yvonne negotiated hard, held out and got £70 more than Simon's valuation. I think with £170, I'd like to buy a nice piece of jewellery because my grandfather, he bought me the typewriter and I just thought a nice piece of jewellery would, would remind me of him. I tried to get as much money as I could out of AD. I really pushed him, but I realised that at £170, he wasn't prepared to, to go any further. What a cool colour. It's a crazy one, really, because that was grey. It'd be like 50 quid. That will be used with so many photographs that I put up online, it will just work yeah. perfectly. I mean, I love watches, so, you know, put a nice Amiga next to it or something, mm. it would just be, just be really cool, love it's, it. It's nice you got the waste paper bin with it. No, I've got the waste paper bin and I've got <laughs> the rubbish to put in it. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a cool thing. Up next is Mary, who's originally from Scotland. She's hoping to sell a case full of curios. I bought them more than 20 years ago as an interest in item. And I've hoarded them and hung on to them, but I wanted to know more about them before I sold them, as it were. Hello. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Too. What have you bought along? These are called Daguerre types. What does that mean? These are negatives. I presume what, you, what they used to have as negatives. Oh, well, that's amazing. As Mary said, quite correctly, they are copper. She mentioned daguerreotypes, but these are slightly later, Mary. Mm. Daguerreotypes would have been sort of 1840s, 50s, that kind of period. Right. Whereas these, I think if we look at the images, the people on them, we can be, say yeah. that they're 20th century, can't we, really? Um, so these would come under more the sort of copper printing plate. Think, yeah, around 1920s? Yeah, yeah, they've definitely got that early yeah. 1900s vibe, haven't they? Yes, they have. Yeah. Was it a sort of car boot sale or a market? I think it was. Antique? I think it was. It was in South London. It was, There's 29 of them, I think, of all you know, various okay. individuals and groups. So <laughs> it's quite them. nice to to get them out them and, go, and somebody have them that appreciates yes. and knows what they are and, and, and make a bit of money. Display them. Just bought a big van that I want to modify it a little bit. You bought a big van? So, yeah, a transit van. I'm taking all the seats out and to make it into a camper. So, you, Mary, you said there's about 20... 29 what? of 29, them, I think. so that's a good oh. amount, mm -hmm. yeah. But I love this one here of the Scottish gentleman there in full flow with the bagpipes. Could be somebody famous, that's the thing, isn't it? It's not me. <laughs> 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 what would you do with them? Nowadays, people would have them as wall pieces, really. You can imagine two or three of those in a sort of collage-type yeah. frame. And there's a market for them? There is a market for them. It's not a huge market, yeah, I must admit. Obviously. Collectors do like the earlier types, but these are coming into the 20th century, so they're not as desirable from a photographic point of right. view. But it's the imagery that I love in this case. Yeah, me too. And that's what will sell them. If you pitched it for the dealers at 150 plus, you'd have a good chance of getting them away. And would the dealer sell them all in one, or would he split them up? And I, would, I would think they would split. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they okay. would probably. Yeah. So let's do a little summary. So when you go into the the room, you you know you're armed with some info, yeah. which is that they're all genuine. All genuine. Copper printing plates from the early 1900s. 29 items. 29 items. 
150 plus for the collection, I don't think that's excessive. Well, you go in there and... I'm Scottish, I have a reputation to return. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to meet you. You too. God bless Thank you. you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. I'm going to go in there and wing it and use all my Scottish charm, everything I can find, and persuade them that they really must have them. I hope to sell them anyway. They're very heavy to take home. <laughs> so, with high expectations and high valuation, Mary heads to the bidding room. Hello. Hello. I have a nice What's wee surprise for you. My name's Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello. Oh, fantastic. Wow. They are. They look fun. How many of them are there? 29. They're great fun, aren't they? pass them down? You're going to have four one. A male voice choir. Mm -hmm. Ballet dancing? Cologne. Yeah. They're not playing very good poker faces, are they? They're obviously showing they're really keen already. Well, I knew they would be. There's no point, <laughs> no point in hiding it. <laughs> Can you remember where you got these from? Yes, I bought them in South London about 20, between 25 and 30 years ago. Yeah. At a boot sale. And did you know what they were when you no, bought them? No, because I didn't actually see them. I bought a box oh, full of stuff, so the, magical. the, the case Fantastic. was closed, and that was exciting, isn't it? But is there nothing you know? better than finding a box? It's fabulous. You don't know what's in it. And this is what this yeah. business it's is exciting. about. That one's lovely. Negatives. Though. On copper? It's copper plate, isn't it? It's copper yeah. plate, yeah. yeah. I'm presuming that they are to make um, copies with. But printing, I think. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I think it is along the printing lines, these are. Yeah, there's a definite Russian flavour yeah. there, isn't there? Which is interesting, because if we were talking Russian printing... It's like a typesetting, I guess, isn't it? It's yeah. a typesetting for yeah. printing, yeah. printing yeah. press. Just look at them quickly. I mean, you can see the different years through them, i.e. she stands out. You also said that. We've all seen it. She's, she's 1920s. Although it's not my field, I used to be in printing, I think this is typeset a thing, I'm going to stick my neck out, you know, printing the journal, printing the papers. Am I close? Am I right? Yes, they are copper printing plates. Yay! Yeah. Fantastic. OK. There's a huge theatrical element here. Of course. And I know that some of the Russians depicted here, when they came to our country, they defected. Of course. At the time, and there's a, there's a historical yeah. interest here, I yeah. think. You're getting very excited and romantic about these. So Nigel's played his magic, hasn't he? Well, he was quite fascinating. He'd never was seen anything really? like it before, mm. but the, Simon was very excited about the Simon. content. Ah, Simon got excited? Yes, he did. <laughs> I think if you mounted them into a section of fashion, or you, yeah. you can have a, a whole following of mostly Russian history. Yes. All on one wall. Let's start bidding. Let's put our money on the table for yeah. Mary. Dealer Ian loves Edwardiana, and Jane might be interested in framing the copper plate negatives for her upmarket Norfolk clients. Will Mary make a big enough impression on the dealers to better Simon's valuation of 150 to 200 pounds? I'm going to start a bid of 50 quid for the lot. Oh, be silly. Don't be silly. <laughs> I'm going to go straight to 100. No, I'm not a bit silly here, you know. <laughs> Fair play. One, two, five. Now. I'll offer you 150 for the lot. No. One, seven, five. No, not quite there yet. I will go to... I'm going to throw you 200. Yeah, you need to push it a wee bit more. 210. It's between me and Mary. 20, 220. 225. Talk among yourselves. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to. <laughs> Two thirty. Two forty. Mm. Whilst they're having a think, two fifty. Two sixty. Two seventy. Two ninety. Any advance? Mary, I'm sweating already. Come on. I'm yeah. I'm worried about how much they were going to cost me to. So we have a deal at two ninety. Present in the bright manner. James, I was thinking exactly the same I'm, thing. I'm out of it for that reason. Do we have a deal at two ninety? Three hundred. Ah no, no, no. Three fifty would be a nice round, I think. Oh, you're jumping a bit much now. Three ten. Three fifty. Ooh. <gasps> 350. 350. I'm, I'm going to say 
I'm, I'm done, but brilliant. Well, I think we're there, eh? Mary, you, you're there. Have a I deal. I think we're there. Oh, well done. Thank you very much. I'm going to regret it. Yeah, you will. Thank you. 350. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That's, that's incredible. Well, well done, the dealers. Yeah, they spot something that's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, but very, very. Never expected that. 350. There you go, my love. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I'm richer than when I came. I got 350 pounds. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Thanks, guys. Right. Thanks. I've Thank got you. a van that I want to improve. So I've already bought the bed. I've got a little cooker. And I'll camper it out so that that will go towards that. Maybe finish it off. Have Thank a safe you. journey back. Thanks ever so much. See you. Bye. Bye bye. Enjoy. We will. I yeah. knew when I saw that. I thought I'm having the. Really? I knew yeah. you would, Tash. Well done. No, good. Good. This good. Is my favourite one. What was that one? This is my ruler. Next in the bidding room is Chris from Surrey who's eager to sell a piece of fantasy memorabilia. I think they're going to be surprised when they see it. It's quite literally unique. It was made for a film called The Colour of Magic, a Terry Pratchett film. Wow, what is this? Well, oh, my heavens, look at it. You just appeared out of nowhere. And your name is... I'm Christopher. Hello, Christopher. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Um, Christopher, tell me about this coffin. It's not just any old coffin. It's a film prop yeah. from the film The Colour of Magic, a Terry Pratchett film. Yeah, it was a um, two-part series for telly, wasn't yep. it? Christopher Lee was in it. Okay. So you can see uh, yeah. Christopher Lee fans. Oh, that's would true. Absolutely go and, of course, maybe Jason was the star. Of course he was, yes. Um, yes. Yeah, okay. So he was in there. I was an extra in the film, but Terry was on set. On the last day, he turned up with his uh, PA and with a three-tonner and just stole everything that wasn't nailed down, including this. And they were then auctioned off for charity at various events. What year was that? 2008. So it's been in the garage quite a long it's time. It's been in the garage a long time. <laughs> um, among the things I have are the certificates saying, you know, stolen by Terry Pratchett from the set of Colour of Magic. Yeah. <laughs> for a prop, I have to say, and I've seen quite a few film props Indeed, in my time, yeah. it's very, very well made. I was looking at the construction, Chris, and it appears to be... Is it a, a wooden carcass with a sort of a resin and...? Yep, that's exactly right. ..on top? Well, my, my favourite bit is, is the cast brass handles on yes. the side. I think they're fantastic. Yeah, beautiful. You know, proper foundry made, aren't they? I mean, this is, in, this is in the film for a total of about 15 seconds. Really? And this is the detail they go into. Yeah. Film props in general are great. Yeah. Um, I very rarely see them come for sale. So, in that respect, it's got... A decent rarity value. How much do you hope to make? What I'd really like is someone to do something nice with it. Yeah. Um, and a couple of hundred pounds would be great. Yeah. Uh, what I would really, you do with it? I would definitely take my wife out for dinner to say, <laughs> sorry for sorry, cluttering yes. up your garage for the last <laughs> 12 years. I think that's a very nice <laughs> gesture, I think. Simon, is this collectible? To a certain kind of person, <laughs> Nigel. All right. It's not, it's not to everyone's taste, as you To your taste? It's my taste, <laughs> I must admit, yes. And I can imagine there's one dealer in there who's going to absolutely love it okay. from the minute he sees it. But, yes, film props in general, good, strong market. Obviously, the more successful the film, the better the price, the more collectors you've got. So let's ask some of a valuation. I know you're excited about this, but I'm <laughs> really excited because I have absolutely no idea what this would go for. Simon? I'm pretty confident it's going to do 250, 300, okay. maybe a little bit more if you hold out. Okay, so, but keep pushing it. Are you happy with that? That's very happy with that, well, yes. A bit more than you thought. More than I thought it would be. Happy. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Remember what we said, you know, it's from a movie. Yes. And that film props don't come up for sale often. Yes. Thank you very much, Simon. Very good. Best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> that is an amazing... I know, I want to take it home. Yeah, I can, I can I, so, yeah. That is brilliant. <laughs> I've not seen anything like this. No, it's absolutely fantastic. great. They gave a valuation that was quite a lot higher than I thought it would be worth. Simon said there was some one particular dealer who would just fall in love with it at first sight, so let's hope they do. And if a dealer does fall in love with it and offer that amount, I will definitely let it go, and I will take my wife out for dinner with the money to say sorry for having a film prop in the garage for 12 years. Simon's valuation is good news. It's now time for Chris to face the dealers and try for his asking price. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh my goodness me. <laughs> There we go. Well, hello ah, there. Boys and girls, a little present for you here. <laughs> there we go. That's it. That's perfect. Wow. Perfect. There you are. I'll just leave you with that. Thanks very Thank much. You. Yeah. This is Christopher, by the way. Hello, hello Christopher. Hello. hello. How are you doing? Oh, hi. So, what do you need? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> There's wow. no one inside it, don't worry. No good. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's obviously a coffin of some sort. Does don't it open? Know. I'm sure it will. Should we put it on the floor? Ah. Should we take it off? To yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, my finger! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know it's very well made? Yeah, it's obviously a good production. What it is, isn't it? Yeah. Put into. Yeah. Was it theatre production, film? So, can you give us a bit of a clue? Because I am completely baffled. It is a film prop, so yes. The clue is that uh, if you look at the coffin, it's covered in things, mystical, magical symbols. Yeah. It's meant to look like a lead coffin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can right. see okay. you've got some warlocks on the handles as well. So it's a wizard's coffin. Oh, I see. And why have you got this pr film prop? OK, it's a wizard's coffin from the film The Colour of Magic, a Terry Pratchett film. And Terry took a three-ton van at the end of filming and just grabbed as many props as he could, and they were auctioned off for charity. Right. Hello. I didn't buy it. A lady bought this and tried to get it into a two-door hatchback car, which is where all the damage from the... Uh, the decorations right. the outside came. I've got every single bit that she knocked off. Right. I've kept them all. Um, she gave up after trying to get in the car and abandoned the coffin in the lobby of a hotel. I should do. <laughs> Scare the guest off. Um, the hotel weren't too happy. And I said, well, I can take it. Now, I, I had planned to use it as a bookcase for Terry Pratchett books. Right. Cover right. the film. My wife came home. <laughs> oh, we get to the excitement of it now. And she said... No, no way. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> So, no, it was not allowed to be in the house, it was not allowed to be a bookcase. You okay. could make it into another bookcase, it'd be great. It crosses over into several different markets, so you've got people that collect film props, you've got Pratchett fans, and then you've got Macabre fans, so... You kind and of... right in the middle of those three circles, there's a person who really wants it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's very cool. OK, so we're going to start the bidding, somebody? Yep. Anybody? Movie memorabilia sells well with dealer James's clients. So, will he go for Chris's film prop, which was valued at 250 to 300 pounds? I'll start it at 45. Oh, that's nice and sensible. I'm, I'm glad he said that, because I'll say 50 then. 55? Um, it's, it's quite unusual for it is. Yeah, the author to actually go and steal the props himself as well. I've got a... I like that bit. That's the yeah. bit I like. I've got the certificate that he's written about saying he did that. Okay. So. Oh, have you? Yes. OK. Well, the, at the end of the day, the 60 quid's worth of brass on it. <laughs> so I'll give you 60 quid for it. 70. <laughs> the trouble is, it's the sort of thing, if you buy it and you're a little bit crazy on it, cos you've just got to find that one person, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? Eighty pounds. Well, I'm going to be out on this, guys. It's not something that I'm really interested in. I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's not for me either. Okay, thank you. For Sorry. Thing. I'd go ninety on it. Uh, hundred quid. Oh, okay, hundred. Oh, okay. You want to carry it home for hundred quid? One ten. One ten, OK. One twenty. I just didn't think it was you, this, your little dark horse. It wasn't. You are I, the dark knight. I just, I, just, I, I just want to see what it's like to be as nuts as you two. Welcome. One, two, five. Mm, that's better. <laughs> 130. <laughs> James? 135. Can have a lie down. <laughs> 150. OK. Thank you very much. Go on, then I'm at 160. 
<laughs> oh, God, 170. It really does look very cool. I wish my wife agreed with you. <sighs> I'm going to say, good luck, guys, whoever gets it, but I'm going to say I'm out. OK. But thank you. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go 190. <laughs> 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 oh, God. 195, I'll have it. Oh, it's cool. I, I'm tempted, but no, I'm going to, I'm going to, no, I'm leaving it there. I'm not brave enough. OK. All right. Well, thank One you very much. <laughs> yes, thank you very much well indeed. Well done, guys. Well, thank you. Well, well done. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. I'm over the moon because James was the one who was most impressed when it first came out. And I hope that it will end up with someone who will be able to do something nice with it. Well, Chris is walking off with £195. That's £55 shy of Simon's lower valuation. Still, he's gained harmony at home and a space in his garage. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. I hope your wife's pleased. Oh, she will be. <laughs> <laughs> be a nice surprise for her. Yeah. What about your wife, James? <laughs> Won't be seeing it. <laughs>